The U-Bionic arm is an advanced bionic prosthetic limb developed by U-Bionic Company, using cutting-edge robotics and bionics technologies. It features a stylish and modern design made from high-quality materials, ensuring strength and durability. This prosthetic limb has a wide range of functional capabilities, equipped with various motorized drives and sensors for precise control and feedback. Control is achieved using electromyography or other sensory systems, allowing the user to control the movements of the prosthesis with muscle signals. Programmability and customization make the U-Bionic arm an ideal solution for individualized user needs, and innovative technologies, including artificial intelligence and machine learning, ensure optimization of functionality and interaction with the environment. This advanced device helps people with amputations or limited mobility to regain partial functionality and improve their quality of life. Designers from the French capital joined forces to create a unique gadget that literally projects onto the wrist and requires nothing but the presence of a bracelet transmitting the image. Moreover, the device is multifunctional. The principle of operation is quite simple. A Pico projector is built into the wristband, projecting the image onto the hand. You won't need anything else. Control is carried out using familiar gestures used to control a smartphone. The projector itself connects wirelessly to the smartphone. You can not only answer calls or browse social networks, but also use all the functions of a modern smartphone, including writing emails. The Secret projection bracelet is waterproof. The image it displays on the hand is not afraid of moisture. According to Secret company employees, the bracelet easily interacts with other devices running on the Android or iOS operating systems and is designed for use as a smartphone. It features an accelerometer, flash memory of 16 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes, a micro SD slot, micro USB port, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth for data transmission. The gadget's price is around $400. The unique concept of the device justifies the cost. This decision was also made by investors, who allowed the bracelet to transition from the development category to the category of a real product. The gadget's revolutionary nature lies in the fact that with a simple movement of the hand, it turns into a smartphone. At the IREX exhibition in Tokyo, the Japanese company Hibot presented a new version of its snake robot, the ACMR5H. This is an improved version of the world's first snake-like robot created by Professor Hirozu in 1972. The standard robot consists of nine segments, with a length of 1.75 meters and a diameter of 8 centimeters. The robot can move both on land and in water. Each segment of the robot has two degrees of freedom. Each module has its own built-in battery, and together they can provide the robot with 1.5 hours of operation. Control is carried out via remote control or Wi-Fi. In the standard version, a video camera is installed in the robot's head module. Using the principle of active cords, it convincingly simulates the movement of a snake on land or underwater. The robot can move through rough terrain, dive underwater, and swim back to the surface. The robot can also be equipped with various sensors and mechanisms to control buoyancy. Possible applications of the robot include inspecting flooded enclosed spaces, monitoring harbors and coastal areas, inspecting ship hulls, inspecting underwater pipes, and much more. The Japanese company ProDrone, specializing in revolutionary drones for professionals, unveiled its model PD6BAWARM, featuring specially designed robotic arms for performing hands-on operations. The drone's capabilities were demonstrated in a video posted on YouTube, where it showcases its claws in the air, delivers water and flotation devices, and confidently lifts a metal chair. It's also shown perched on a railing like a predatory bird made from Meccano. However, ProDrone did not provide specific details on how the model would fare against eagles, which security experts consider natural enemies of drones. The Dutch police announced that eagles would be used to take down drones when the machines are deemed a danger to society. Although its arms can carry approximately 10 kilograms, the drone has a maximum payload of 20 kilograms. It can fly for up to 30 minutes at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour on a single charge. According to its manufacturers, the drone can perform various operations at great heights, over long distances, and in places where it would be too dangerous for humans, including cargo retrieval, cable cutting, knob turning, switch flipping, buoy dropping, and hazardous material extraction. The Chinese company Ehang has turned aerial taxis into a real firefighter drone. Ehang has unveiled a firefighting multi-copter based on its passenger aerial taxi. 
Developers propose using the multi-copter primarily for fires in high-rise buildings, where it is difficult and time-consuming to deliver a fire brigade using conventional means. The drone is equipped with a 150-liter tank, filled with firefighting foam and a long swivel nozzle. Above the cabin is a launcher for firefighting bombs with six charges. They are ejected at high speed and have a sharp and hard tip capable of piercing glass. For aiming, the drone is equipped with a laser target designator and a camera. The drone is designed for semi-autonomous operation. It can autonomously fly from the fire station to the firefighting site, but the operator is responsible for firefighting. Ehang claims that it can extinguish fires even in skyscrapers up to 600 meters tall, up to 5 kilometers away from the station. During a presentation in Yunfu, the company conducted a drone test and demonstrated how it extinguishes a fire on the penultimate floor of a 10-story building. Now let's move to the circus. Founded in 1871, the Ringling Brothers Circus was once the largest and most famous in the world until its closure seven years ago. This year it has returned, but in a revamped show, there are no animals at all because they are now replaced by robots. This is sure to please animal rights advocates. For example, performing before the audience is the Go One robot dog from Unitree Robotics. This electronic circus performer is adorned with pink fur and has a spring tail attached to it. The robot is controlled via a remote control resembling a drone controller joystick. By the way, anyone can purchase Go One for a price starting from $2,700. Such a solution is not only innovative and original, but also efficient. For example, robots simplify the circus staff's duties by eliminating the need to feed and care for animals. Additionally, robots are not susceptible to stress and do not require training. They just need to be programmed. Z-Space introduced a laptop that allows you to interact with AR, VR data. A set of specially designed glasses that help to perceive the virtual content is included to Z-Space laptop pack. The user is also prompted to use the stylus with six degrees of freedom to enable selection of objects on the screen and move them in three-dimensional space. These two elements combined with built-in tracking sensors provide the laptop with technology to track head and hand movements, as well as dynamically adjust the viewing perspective in full HD. The experience of using a computer has hardly changed since the appearance of the mouse and the touchscreen in the 1980s. With Z-Space technology, we completely rethink the capabilities of personal computers, removing the barrier between our eyes and the content with which we interact, which allows us to immerse ourselves in games and incredibly interactive applications for education, e-commerce, businesses, and more. Z-Space Laptop combines all the amazing features in an economical and efficient format that can be taken anywhere says Paul Kellenberger, Z-Space CEO. Canadian startup Sanctuary AI, which gained popularity due to the creation of the humanoid robot Phoenix, has struck a deal with the parts manufacturer Magna International. Magna International is a producer of components and parts for Volkswagen, Ferrari, and BYD vehicles. Robots and humanoids will be working alongside humans on factory floors. The Phoenix robot is equipped with agile humanoid hands, allowing it to be adapted to almost any task, such as transporting goods or manufacturing parts on assembly lines. In the coming months, Magna International plans to deploy the first batch of robots to its factories and test the humanoids in action. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.